Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. You laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. What is today's punishment? You guys, we are springing forward today. The clocks move ahead. Unless you live in a sane place like Arizona, they don't acknowledge that crap. I digress. Your punishment today, you have to write your representative or your senator and say, do your job. End this crap. We spring forward this time. We don't touch the clocks ever again. Megan, you're in Sweden. Do you guys do this in Sweden? Do they do this? No, because it's dumb. Also, you have to make sure you check that you are still subscribed. Still, a lot of people saying there, keep getting unsubscribed. If you meant to subscribe to this channel, please just make sure you are subscribed still. That being said, let's play today's game. If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. Salary versus cost of living. <laughs> I think there's most people right now, right? It's uh, it's it's hard out there. It's real hard out there. And things, gas keeps going up. So, uh, oil, which in turn is is uh, increasing gas prices. It's not good. I'm not saying I'm lazy. But if a crock pot recipe starts with brown or saute, we are done. Good. You use a crock pot because it's easy. But if you make me brown the meat, that the, defeats the whole purpose. No. No, 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 no. Stop sending those recipes. What radicalized you, Ken? A $5 foot long costs $13.26 now, Barbs. Hey, Megan makes fun of me for this. This is what I've been talking about. We've almost two and a half X the price of a $5 foot long in a pretty short amount of time. That's a problem. You can't even get fast food now. It's, it's so expensive. When you're a teenager on a wet day in 1999, <laughs> uh, what do they call them? The Jenko jeans, right? I wasn't a teenager then, but you know, I, I had uh, cousins that wore this crap. Never, never really understood this. Was this? How did this ever become cool? It was like a weird five to eight year window there where people were doing this. You know, talk about a hazard, right? I don't buy books because I'm not a nerd. I'll wait for the Netflix adaptation. Can't wait to see what strong, independent woman they cast as Tyler. <laughs> You know, if if the book Trailer Park Parable did make it to Netflix, um, yes, it, it, they would probably shift around the characters, of course. Um, anyways, if you have not checked out the book yet, you should. You should check out the book. A lot of great reviews. If you have read the book, please go leave a review. I know it's, it's been over a month now since it's been out. Uh, it's still getting a lot of comments. I love it. I love the reviews. So go check that out if you have not yet. Thank you for everyone who has. One day you're young and the next you're sleeping like this. Dude, that's me. I feel like I'm pretty young still, too. But it's just like, it's like 2 o'clock hits. Well, maybe a little before that. You have lunch, then bam, nap time. I never take the nap, but I, I need to take a nap. Did anyone notice how in Harry Potter, the soul-eating Dementors never went for Ron? <laughs> is that true? Did he never get targeted? I don't know. I've, I've seen the movies, but it's been a while. My collection is almost ready as trick-or-treat season is fast approaching. You're preparing way ahead of time. And you're a really bad person if you do this and don't have the Taco Bell sauce. It's the best. And you don't have it either. I don't see it. Or the Taco Bell and or Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce, mm, top notch. When it's career day and your dad shows up to present as a meme lord. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do in the future. Yeah. My dad's a meme lord. He makes YouTube videos. It's really cold outside. If you're going to Walmart, please wear two pairs of pajamas. <laughs> this should be at the like the entrance of every Walmart parking lot. It's like, look, you're here at Walmart. It's cold. Wear two pairs. Don't put yourself at risk. 9 a.m. me. I think I'll roast a chicken for dinner. Steam some asparagus. Make mashed potatoes. 4.45 p.m. me. Hi, I'd like a large pepper pizza for delivery. <laughs> See, this is where the slow cooker comes in. The crock pot. You're two different people. 9 a.m. versus 4.45 p.m. You got to recognize that. You got to prepare ahead of time. Now, 98% of us don't do that, including myself. It is, it is what it is. 
I changed my Facebook name to Benefits. So when you add me, it says, you are now friends with Benefits. <laughs> oh, Ron, that is so dumb. California, 2035. We're almost, we're already there. There, We have so many videos of people breaking down, getting charged up with diesel generators, hauled by diesel trucks. It's insane. Every time I have a video call, my kid, <laughs> dude, and then they want to hold it. And then they want to hold it. So hey, let me hold it. And then, yeah, no, I'm sorry. This is a work call. I got, yeah, you got to go to the other room before you even answer that. I like how there's just one guy in the Rolling Stones that dresses like a regular 77 year old man. Got far right. Yeah, he's, he just got back from the golf course. Showed up, got to play some bass for the Rolling Stones. Everyone else is like a, you know, the freaking 60 year old single aunt that has too many cats. Damn, these Girl Scouts are savage. Weight Watchers. Careful, you're about to get robbed. Remember the video from last week? It's the world we live in now, ma'am. No matter how crazy you are, never put your finger here. Yeah, everyone knows that. Fellas, at least, you know, we, at least we don't have to breastfeed. Because uh, imagine being a mom and having to do that. That's, you know what? That's, I, I love, I love the moms out there. Guys, <laughs> I'm glad I don't have those responsibilities. You guys are amazing, truly. Tough day on Facebook. I still don't know what you're supposed to comment under a photo of a new baby, but I've learned it isn't. Yikes. <laughs> All right. If we're being honest, most babies are, are yikes. Don't come at me for that. Most little babies, they, they look like aliens for a few weeks. They do. They do. They look like, old, like little mini Benjamin Buttons. Most of them do. So don't say yikes. Say that's a beautiful baby. Wow, congratulations. That's it. That's all you do. The heels of the bread are to be eaten last. You eat them as a punishment for not buying more bread. It is a punishment. Not always. Sometimes it's it, it fits, but um, go get the new bread. Don't don't let it sit there for too long. Me and my bestie texting. You're just gonna get attached to him and get hurt. But he's funny. So are clowns. Do you see me texting Ronald McDonald every day? This is like that, uh, the one we got banned for on, on uh, Instagram. Girls telling their girlfriends to break up with guys always look like this. That's probably what she looks like. No offense, it's just the truth. If we're profiling, if we're stereotyping here, friends, girlfriends, right? Life hack. If there is a custom tip option, you can sometimes enter a negative number and make your meal cheaper. Did you know that? Did you know that? You can do it. It's, it's kind of a dick move, but... Try it. Try it next time. Somehow we ended up here. Apocalypse. Having to go to work. <laughs> it feels like it feels like things aren't apocalyptic right now. But it feels like one wrong move, one wrong bike fall or stair fall from Joe Biden. One brain blip. Like we're that close to, to that. It's a weird feeling. So something doesn't feel right. That's what I'm saying here. I just overheard a two-year-old refer to her jacket pockets as snack holes. And that is what I shall forever call them. <laughs> snack holes. I like that. Hmm. You guys give your kids snacks to put in their pockets? That sounds like a mess. I typically refrain from political posts, but this is a cause I feel strongly about. What we really need is wider and shorter plates for nachos. No more tall towers of chips and toppings. Spread the toppings across a larger area and cover all the chips, not just the top layer. Stand with me. I support this. In your letter to your representative about daylight savings time and the insanity behind it, throw this in there. Kind of like they do with their bills. They just throw stuff in there. Like, oh, yeah, we got to have a uh, million bucks for Mongolian gender studies, stuff like that. Throw this in there as a subplot. Be like, At, when you make this bill, throw this in there. Make this a law. This should be a law. Stop doing this. I the ta you, you're there's a tower, but underneath it's it's just plain tortilla chips. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm not gonna eat those. What a waste. Now I'm pissed. Now now I'm, it's so, I'm, now I'm mad. <laughs> this should have been the halftime show, <laughs> dude. Can we can we sign a petition? Can we throw this in the bill too? We want the Step Brothers. What is it, Brennan? 
can't remember Brennan and and uh, yeah, Dale. Brennan and Dale. We want Brennan and Dale to sing this at halftime. That's the opener of the the halftime show. I'm at the age where my mind firmly believes I'm 29. My humor suggests I'm 12, and my body possibly died in the Civil War. <laughs> so what are you really like? Late 50s, early 60s. Facebook Marketplace never ceases to amaze me. Drunk wife carrier. Ah, uh, or you ah, gee, free. I guess you know you're not going to use that for most boxes. It's got the rails on the side there, so you could you could use it to carry people. I hope she ain't getting that that tipsy on the weekends that you need that every time. But hey, it's your life, man. Fellow husbands. Your wife complains that the house is cold. All you have to do is tell her she'll warm up if she does the housework. Follow me for more marriage tips. There's a good one. Good luck with that one. Good luck telling her that. <laughs> if you play in the street and remember yelling, Car! You had an awesome childhood. Those are the, those are the days, man. And if you remember any amount of road rash. Did you ever get road rash? Anyone? I have a few stories. We'll, we'll save the stories. I know you guys love the stories. You, you, you played in the street. You got the road rash. You had a good childhood. Return to the office for the culture. The culture. Employees, a snack will be provided for you today at the food court in appreciation of your hard work. Today's snack, mayo. You, you got to find a new job. That's cancer. Today, we asked my three-year-old cousin how much he weighs, and he said, uh, like 50 squirrels. <laughs> He's a future um, asteroid person. You know how they, they say, oh, the asteroid's coming. It's, it's the size of a dishwasher. It's like one of those people, yeah. Totally okay with adults being British, but I just don't think it's appropriate for children. <laughs> Dude, we really go hard at the UK. Uh, all you Brits out there. And I know a lot of you watch this. I know you do. I love you guys, but you got to stay away from kids. <laughs> What's the show? Is it Bluey? But isn't that like Australian or something? The like kids are watching it and developing an accent because they have an accent on the show. Is, it, is that what I'm thinking of? Can we find the article? Idea for small budget pinata. Dude, this is genius. And I mean that. Like those cra those stupid fish crackers. Goldfish, right? Oh, man. Th there's a whole little packet, a little quart-sized packet. They come in that bag. Guaranteed you could get that out of our car seat right now. I guarantee it. There are three Gen X era car seats hidden in this picture. ha. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got the front end of this, or the, the back end of this. I remember a couple trips riding in the in the truck like this. You had, well, you got the tire, of course. There's really four, because you could sit on the floor as well, the, the truck bed floor. But yes, there are there are three for sure, three safe seats. <laughs> Dude, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm flashing back right now. Cinema has existed for over a century, and Dracula has never met a dolphin in any movie. There are so many stories left to tell. I'm trying to think. Would that be a scary movie? Would it be a comedy? Would it involve Adam Sandler? Like, I I don't know. There are many options to tell that story. Me. I don't need a mechanic. I'm a real car guy. Also me, eight hours later, with an even more broken car. I'm stupid. Dude, I've been here. Oh, I've been here. And then, like, you have the calipers off. You, I mean, you have the... You can't drive it. That's how far you are down the hole. And, and then you, you just have to battle through it. Find the YouTube video with 400 views on it. And hopefully that gives you the answers. But point of view, it's 1993. You pour yourself a big bowl of cereal and turn on the TV. A little bit before my time. But I remember in the late 90s watching this. Thinking, whoa, dude. Like that. It was always, I think it's this game right here. Where they have the ball and they're shooting tennis balls at the guys. That was always the best one. You guys ever see that documentary? There's two different documentary series about this, actually. The Gladiators. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy culture they developed. The scariest escape room ever. Dude, look at that one. 
This one's scary because you don't even have a computer monitor. Maybe around the corner you might. I don't see any cords. So, like, this person is going through stacks of paper. That sounds like hell. I, very passively, commented on how I liked the spoons at Benihana's to my mom. And later, she sends me this. Forgot to tell you, I lifted a few spoons for you from Benihana's. <laughs> Dude, you little klepto. You freaking klepto. I didn't know this until a couple of years ago. And I, I think we may have talked about this before, but people steal stuff from restaurants all the time. Whether it's cups, spoons. I, wh why? That's not yours. And, and who, why would you bring it home? Who cares? You already have stuff at home. <laughs> like people who leave parties without saying goodbye, save up to two days per year. <laughs> I'm going to show this one to my wife. There is a thing called the Minnesota goodbye. If you are from Minnesota, you definitely know what it is, but it means you take way too long to say goodbye and you, you say goodbye probably like five times and you say goodbye and you can say, Oh, I forgot. Oh, did you hear about, did you hear about Joe and his new, his new girlfriend or whatever? And then there's another conversation for 10 minutes. You say goodbye and it happens again. I've seen it happen on a weekly basis for about eight years now. Seven years, dude. So yeah, I, I have spent a lot of my life in this situation. So two days per year, I think that's probably accurate. Me pretending to help my kid look for a toy I threw out weeks ago. <laughs> we started doing this. We didn't throw them out. We put the toys uh, in the, you know, in storage. But you have to pretend to look and then and then they just get, they get distracted so easy you find another toy and then they forget trying to hear the person on the intercom at the drive through as a 30 plus year old person eh that isn't your fault by the way that's the the drive throughs fault for not updating their technology like you didn't you didn't think about making a better speaker for your customers you're just gonna talk you're gonna talk like this the whole time fix it dude Whenever I start to feel anxious, I immediately have another coffee and scroll through the worst news imaginable on my phone and OMG, it does not help at all. <laughs> this is why you should you should not do this and go through uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. It's like all just bad news all day, every day. It's Unless you're invested in Bitcoin, right? I tripped and almost died twice just looking at this picture. It looks like there's there's actual stairs leading up to that. Ow, man. Like, my knees hurt looking at this. Like, imagining falling, trying to get up to the tub. No, this is... who? Someone was trying to torture someone here. Someone was trying to claim an insurance policy when they made this. That's what they were doing. This is insurance policy tub. Trying to make it look like an accident. I hope that, in 10,000 years, this truck is the only remaining artifact of the human race. Dude, please. We, we should start planning for that. You know? When the next great flood happens, we got to start pr like planning what we leave behind, what people find. This is great. Kind of. I bet he's thinking about other women in the Disney Pixar movie series, Cars. Why do the cars have doors when humans do not exist? <laughs> That's a good question. Are we like, we're, we're building these fake realities for kids, man. It ain't, it ain't healthy. $34 trillion. $34 trillion so far. I just saw a report. We're adding a trillion dollars every 100 days. And the next $1 trillion will be 95 days. And so it's just going to go like this. What is the solution? I don't know. There's a couple solutions, but I'll let you guys look into that. This is a big problem. Giant problem. Sure. Here's an image of a Swedish woman. You guys see this? The Google Gemini fiasco? Yeah. This is, uh, they, they eliminated white people from the search. Really, they did. It was bizarre. Mentally unfit for trial means mentally unfit to run the country. Nice reminder. If you can't stand trial, you can't be the president. Period. Politician makes promise. Me. Liar. <laughs> That's when you know you are mature. If you do that with both parties. If you say, you guys are probably lying. I don't trust any of you. Then you are a fully mature adult. Hi, most annoying person you've ever encountered here. I noticed this post you wrote in three seconds doesn't line up with every experience I've ever had. This is extremely harmful to me. The main character of the universe. <laughs> you should leave an angry comment in the comments. You should. 
that we will all scroll past and maybe laugh at in a future's education video. This post, although joking, represents many, many people online. My neighbor's going crazy. Divorced as if I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a that was a a brutal one, a brutal divorce there, brutal breakup. You know, hopefully the kids are all, are doing all right. That's what matters most. But a lot of people forget that. If you ever see me and don't feel like talking, don't. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, keep that in mind. You see me. Actually, I'm I'm joking. Actually, if you see me in public, come say hi. I uh, you know. I do like that. So, but if I knew you in high school, middle school, elementary school, yeah, let's just, we'll, we'll wave at each other. How you doing? Good to see you. That's it. <laughs> if you are cold, they are cold. Bring them inside and warm them up. <laughs> I love this one. This is a triggering meme for a lot of people, but it's, it's nature. We are part of nature and this is what we do. This is, it looks delicious. Associated fresh breaking. Gamers worldwide left confused after trying Google new chess app. <laughs> yeah, look at the white ones, get it? Because Google did that, they did. Hilarious. Not hilarious, because they're really doing that. Excuse me, while I put away King Henry VIII's effing milk. <laughs> Sell by October 23rd, 1538. Little old there, don't touch it. You might get, uh, might get food poisoning. If you've ever had your ass beat with one of these, then you're probably not a they them. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe it's the maybe it's the reverse. Well, I will say, uh, we had the wooden spoon. The wooden spoon, um, never the belt. Wooden spoon in the hand, and we're not they them. So, guys will see this and just think, hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude! Look at that. That, that, that monkey's got swag. What I'm talking about hell yeah. Four thousand years ago, today should be so proud so proud guys we did it we're uh we are we're doing it remember in full metal jacket when this dude was considered fat yeah. gomer pile they called him dude that guy was the fat guy in his flight i remember probably five or six guys in my flight that were fatter and uh that was 10 years ago now imagine basic training now they're at a shortfall of recruits. That's true. What old person thing do you do? Run errands early as hell before the idiots wake up. That's just being smart. You avoid the crowds. Get to Costco right when it opens. Or like 20 minutes before it closes. Got your rent on my wrist. What the hell? $765? That's a zip tie. You really spent that on a zip tie? You can go get a whole pack of those for like five bucks. I don't know. I'm 59 and just found this amongst my mother's stuff. Well, it took you 50 years to find it. So what is it? Is my child st <laughs> stupid? <laughs> you might be. Go, go. You could have gone. <laughs> Dude, I've said this probably 30 times. 30 times. You know, you know. Ah, I don't want to be late. If you don't like Taylor Swift, just wait until you find out how she holds a pen. Are you kidding me? Dude, what? I've never seen anyone in my life hold a pen like that. A company in Japan gives employees who don't smoke an extra six vacation days every year to make up for the cigarette breaks. The company found the new policy gave a lot of employees the push to finally quit smoking. I love this. And not even that, like, it, it just makes sense. These guys are taking several breaks a day, you know, hours worth of break time while the non-smokers don't. So, eh, I love it. I'm going to buy a $60,000 Jeep truck so I can haul things. It's your money, man. Spend it how you want. I'm so healthy, I eat salad every day. Salad. 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 Come on, stop, stop doing the Michelle Obama. This is what they do at schools. A potato, like French fries are a vegetable. Pizza is a vegetable because it's got tomato sauce. That's real. <laughs> so stop, stop being like that. Stop being like Michelle Obama. Start eating healthy. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. You have to write your representative. 
and the madness. Okay? And the madness of the nachos and the time shifting. Let me know how you did it down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. The beer brewed here, it is used to make the brew beer. Idiots.